Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us for this episode. Really glad you could make it. And by popular demand, we have a really special guest on, uh, Cyrus Faisal. He is uh, the co-founder and CEO of SwissBorg, a very revolutionary multi-counterparty wealth management app um, based out of the EU. I'm joined along with CJ Reichel from uh, MarketRebellion.com, as well as my co-host Ryan Gorman. And Cyrus, thank you so much for coming. I've been wanting to get you back on the show for so long. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Thanks, guys. It's really, really happy to be back and uh, see that things are rocking. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this talk. Um, you know, one of the things that we've been doing this year in particular, and a lot of things that we cover are metric based kind of fundamental analysis, uh, crypto projects, crypto um, counterparty uh, ecosystem members. Um, and, you know, SwissBorg is one of those things. I, we see a lot of value in SwissBorg. We like what you're doing. Um, I've known about the company. I've known you guys for quite some time. You are all over LinkedIn. First of all, you should be all over the normal press. All right. We got to get you on the normal press because yeah. what, you, <laughs> what you guys do on LinkedIn, I don't think everybody sees. And um, it's actually pretty fabulous. So it, it definitely, folks, go check out Swiss Borg and Alex Faisal and Cyrus Faisal and everybody else there on LinkedIn, um, because that's really where they do the bulk of their announcements. One of the things I'd like for you, I don't want to talk for you, is to quickly describe the company, what you guys do, and how you provide value to uh, retail users. Yeah, I think so. You know, the, the, the big difference I would say with SwissBorg is that we really focus on crypto wealth management. Uh, you know, we've partnered up uh, with World Tops Exchange and created a meta exchange on top of it in order to source best liquidity uh, and to enjoy the best investment experience. So, you know, we partnered up with, with uh, Turbiquan, hit BTC, with Kraken and other different guys. And anyone could onboard within a few minutes and buy and sell different digital assets with, with 15 fiat currencies uh, within, you know, milliseconds. But the best thing out of it is you're getting always best execution. So for, if you're going from, you know, dollar, I mean, Swiss francs, euros, or whatsoever to buying Bitcoin. We're going to look at multiple different exchanges. What's the different order books? What are the prices? And how to go from A to B, making sure you're really doing best routing. And I think so that, that's one of the cool things we're doing at SwissBorg is really try to maximize the investment experience for any type of person who wants to get into crypto. And your message has really been uh, like enriching people, right? You call yourselves a wealth management app, and it's really about assisting people in growing their financial uh, uh, diversity, freedom, and stuff like that. You got, Am I correct to say you guys have nearly 240,000 users now? Yeah, it's amazing. After, you know, a, a little, almost a year, I think. So we're getting to anniversary probably in three weeks. Uh, the launch of the app, you know, we've been able to board 240,000 people, mainly in Europe, which is really amazing. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really cool because you have, you know, the people that are just getting into crypto, they're like 65 years old. You have the youngsters as well. And you have the crypto traders, investors, people that have been into the game for a long, long time. And I think so what people enjoy a lot is our, our mission, which is democratizing wealth management by making it fun, fair and community centric. And, you know, people could quickly feel uh, the love that we put in our products, in our ethos as well, and therefore enjoy it a lot and more and more. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. You know, you know, wake up in the morning, every morning you have three to 5,000 people that are newly onboarded. Uh, and uh, it's great. It's fantastic. It's, fantastic. it's... Um, sorry, Alex. Um, you know, something I wanted to, to talk about with you, uh, you mentioned community and you, you have such a strong community at SwissBorg and the whole idea that the community benefits as the exchange grows by, you know, through holding the, the CHSB token. Can you tell us a little bit about how the community index works and why that's so important and, and such a differentiator for uh, people using SwissBorg? Yeah, th thanks for asking, Ryan. Um, I think so, you know, the I think this is a very big, you know, the essence of or the genesis of SwissBorg is creating a community and I think so. 
you know, whatever you're doing in a startup or in a tech company or whatsoever, I think so you could have, you could develop different products that are great and services that go with it. I think so the key differentiator with us is how we build with the community for the community. And that goes from, you know, as you said, the community index, but to everything, you know, we're always making sure that we reward our, our, our token holders, making sure that we build with what they want to see and what they want to feel. And I think so the community index is most probably another great witness. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of different projects that there's yield farming and it's a great way to reward your users uh, to use your programs, right? And whatever it is, if it's yield farming, what, if it's coin poker that you're playing poker and you're, you're giving your tokens, if it's governance tokens through, you know, compound curve or whatsoever. I think so, you know, it's, it, these are great ways to incentivize, again, people to use your products. And what we wanted to do is obviously there's staking, there's governance rights, but we wanted to create a new way to reward people by staking in, in our Swissborg pools. And um, we, we said that uh, we realized that, you know, there was different other uh, projects doing this, but the APY that you give, uh, so the earning per year is sometimes, you know, 5%, 6%, 8%, 12%, 20%, but you really not know where the, that calculation comes from, right? It could be 50% and then 5%, you don't really know, it's quite random. And very often what you see is that it's not sustainable either. Right, you're gonna yield farm into that pool. Early comers get the worm, but then after you're, you're getting less and less tokens. And we wanted to do something that again is sustainable. So we thought about it a lot, to be honest. And we said, how can we reward people for yield farming in the most, uh, you know, the most linear way? And we said, okay, let's try to see that if we the, the higher the APY is, the higher the health of our ecosystem is. And that's what we really try to say. Okay, if if our ecosystem is flourishing, you should be yield farming more and more, right? It's the it's the common thing. It's like if if the earth is good, the soil is good, there's good sun and good water, you're gonna yield farm more than if it's in winter, it fucking sucks. So most probably you're not gonna be able to get you know great vegetables and flowers. So we don't look at soil, obviously, and, and sun, but our sun and our soil is six different parameters that are in the community index. And the six parameters that it is, is the wealth app activity, like for onboarding new users, the volume on our, in our app, it's as well on the token itself, it's a great volume if the price action is going well. It's based as well on our fun game, which is the community index, community game, sorry, that enables people to get into crypto. If it's on our DEO activity, so obviously we have a DEO like most different blockchain uh, projects. And last but not least, like for example, if this video is going well, all the social media that's related to Swissboard gives a score to. And when you take these six different parameters on a weekly basis, we decide about a score. That score goes from zero to 10. If it's 10, that means we are the healthiest possible. I think so right now at 9.3, so it's doing very, very well, obviously. And that means we're going to reward the pool and have a higher APY. And that's, that's given every week. So like that, again, if there's good sun, there's good soil, the seeds are there, you're going to make a lot of beautiful vegetables and flowers and therefore get rewarded very satisfactorily. On the opposite, if it's winter, things are not going very well. Unfortunately, you're not going to be yielding as much. And right now, I think so, you know, people have staked over... 35% uh, of the total circling supply of Swiss board tokens, and people are roughly at 6% APY. So speaking of that, I want to just uh, go over to your guys' site very briefly to showcase some of this. You were talking about the uh, best price execution connecting to these four different uh, exchanges. You guys right. actually provide a smart exchange report. So this is actually really cool. You can see you know, what you're getting at uh, other exchanges um, when you come to Swiss board. Um, and then like you were just uh, mentioning Cyrus, the token has some exclusive benefits for users who hold a certain amount. And that is known as uh, Swiss board premium. So if you hold over uh, 50,000 of these tokens, you can get some exclusive benefits uh, for the Swiss board premium. Can you talk a little bit about uh, 
Well, I guess we did kind of just discover the just uh, did discuss the yield, but uh, can you talk a little bit about these advantages? Yeah, yeah, I think so. So it's really important. We really want to uh, reward people that hold our tokens as well. And uh, and actually, this yield right you see right now, it's actually not uh, the yield on Swissboard token. Uh, it's the yield actually on on the USDC yield. Um, but getting back to premium, um, we're going to develop uh, actually a second premium because right now 50,000 CHSB tokens, that's you know, over $40,000. So that's, that's a crazy amount of money. Um, so we're going to have a lower pre premium tier, that's for sure. And the idea is to have you know, multiple different tiers. And obviously, if you're staking a big amount of Swissboard tokens and you are premium, you essentially get uh, less transaction fees and you get double the yield on, in this case. That means whatever products you yield on. So we have USDC right now. We're going to add, we have Swissboard token. We're going to be adding BNB, Bitcoin, Ether, and others. Uh, you essentially get a higher yield. Uh, so that's really to, to, again, reward our uh, lovely backers. And right now we have over 4,119 4, people that are actually premium that have staked actually a fair amount of tokens. And that represents over 50% of the total supply today. Uh, so that's really good. That really shows again. And what's quite crazy about this, and this is how much love we have for the community, is that people don't stake like for a day. They actually stake for a year. That's how much confidence they have within the platform and the within the ecosystem. And I think so that's, again, another good way that our community, you know, really believe in us and, 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 and have that leap of faith that is for the long run. And, uh, and I think that's really, really, really interesting. Interesting. You know, one of the things, yeah, cause you just released uh, actually USDC and CHSB um, uh, yield wallets recently. Is that correct? Yeah. The, the yield on you is, I mean, Swiss work just happened, I think so a month and a half ago, just when, when our token went from 30, 40 cents to like a dollar. Uh, that was amazing, right? While we were having this uh, yearly AMA. Um, and uh, the USDC, I think so, we, we just released it like end of December. Uh, we have roughly 50 million US dollars uh, that is, to, is staked into that program already, um, which is good. And the idea is that contrary to multiple different platforms, which we really believe are great, like BlockFi, Celsius, and others, is that what they do is usually is that they're going to lend it to counterparties, and they're you know they're going to take a, a small uh, you know interest on it and 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 give you back the, the biggest amount of interest. And we thought that that's a cool way, but that's not really what we thought about. We really wanted to really improve again the DeFi space and the on-chain space. And, and I think so that's that's what we've done is that when people are essentially pledging this USDC, it's on a 24 hour basis. So it's very short term. Uh, we then essentially have built an Oracle that scans all the different liquidity pools on decentralized financial exchanges and as well decentralized uh, financial lending platforms. And so combination of, let's say, Curve and Venus with Binance Smart Chain, uh, we then look at different liquidity pools at all times. This Oracle scans it. And every 24 hours, it rebalance the portfolio into these best uh, different liquidity pools that have been whitelisted uh, through Swissborg. And um, yeah, it's amazing. You know, for the last two, two months and a half, the rate of return is over 20%. You know, obviously yields now are falling. Uh, and where does it come from, the, the biggest juice and the alpha of the strategy? It's really uh, by the fact that you're not only lending in these different pools, the best thing what you're doing is that you're yield farming a lot of different tokens, such as, again, Venus Curve and, and many others or PancakeSwap or Uniswap. And, and that enables you to essentially not earn 5 7 8%, but actually earn much more than that. And the premium users are loving it because, again, they're... The risk is low and the returns are really high. The um, with all this volatility, let's talk about the market for a second, because uh, you know you're knee deep in it, um, being one of the operators in the space. With the uh, current bull run volatility, what are one you guys must pick up uh, a, a ton of action with the volatility? I mean, your your platform must be. Um, almost tested. Are these good stress test points when we get volatile like this for you guys to say, hey, look, 
we, we, we kind of measure where our breaking point is or, or we kind of need to expand over here from an infrastructure? Yeah, that's a great, that's a great question. Um, it's really hard. It's been hard for everyone. I mean, like everyone had his bad time pretty much almost every exchange. I think so. The great thing is that as we're in meta exchange, we are a source of liquidity on different uh, providers. So if Kraken is down, well, you know, you could still send this to HBTC, you can send this to, to essentially uh, Binance or others. And, uh, you know, that has helped us a lot, I would say. Uh, however, however, obviously we had some downtimes. Everyone had had some downtimes. It's really hard to, you know, go from 100 users to 1,000, 1,000 to 10, 10 to 100,000, and 100,000 to 200,000. And uh, yeah, it's 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 been a wild uh, last three months. But yeah, again, you're right. As you said, it's probably the best time of battle of battlefield where you you get the great experience and. Um, you know, most of our technology is based on Scala. It talks, it speaks for itself, right? Scala means scalability. So uh, I think so. That that's the great thing. However, you know, we're only 50 engineers at Swissport, uh, which is not as much as I would say at most companies. So you know, it, it's still we're still in early days, uh, but for sure we have provided things so extremely good service uh, for the last year, and we'll probably deliver much better in the very short future. Very cool. Lastly, what is it that you would like to see from Swissborg as it moves into its second year of, of operating? Um, first of all, by the way, great first year. Okay. I mean, yeah. an amazing first year. <laughs> yeah. But I, yeah, the second year, what, what are you going to, what are you going to do even better? Yeah, well, I know in the list last year, we had over 3,500% of performance on our token. You know, we great that next year, you know, we get, uh, you know, hopefully in the top 20. Uh, that's the that's the big goal of Swiss Borg. Uh, it's going to, obviously, gonna be, it's going to be difficult, but it's a good target. Uh, in terms of platform, it's, it's really to provide more and more wealth management products. You know, the, the typical trader that really wants to trade on a daily basis is very welcome at Swissborg and our smart engine, again, provides its best routes. But what we really are targeting in Europe is people that are investors and people that wanna get the best premium experience by letting the hard work for essentially our algorithms and our products. And I think so that's, that's really where we're getting is how we could provide more and more passive, you know, in, in income type of strategies with yield, and, and different premium tiers as well. And last but not least, more and more governance. I think so this is something, again, a lot of, I don't want to you know, disrespect any projects, but a lot of projects in DeFi are, you know, have governance tokens, but then you see like 20 people or even less 15 people voting. That's not really the, the basics of, of, of crypto. You really want to make sure that your entire community has its voice and, you know, Three years ago, when I, we wanted to launch the Wealth app, I wanted a desktop version. Anthony, the co-founder, wanted a, a mobile app. Well, you know, we had 10,000 people that voted on the blockchain, has recorded, and the mobile won 51% against 49. So anyways, he won. But the greatest is that we won together as a community. And I think so that's the, that for me is the strong element of blockchain is how to really provide real governance tools and, um, you know, Swissborg Nation is just going to be launched, I think so, in the coming weeks. We have replicated very much the democracy we have in Switzerland. It was a direct democracy, obviously, with referendums and things like that. And right now, we're just about to elect the parliament. Parliament will be a national council where people could essentially propose initiatives. People could vote for it then after. And I think so that is a great way how uh, people could even more get active, have some fun, and essentially, you know, vote, build their future. You well, hold on that. a second, dude, that's, Cyrus, that's big, man. You can't, you can't just talk right past that, you know, Swiss Board Nation <laughs> is launching, uh, you know, in a, in a month or so. I mean, the, governance is a big part of mm -hmm. what these platforms are and it, what, yeah. it, what involves its, its users into shaping it. And they feel like they're participating. Now, what what was the genesis for Swiss Borg Nation? I mean, it sounds like a first to me. Yeah, we never talk about it because uh, I think see, I think so. I'm a lot behind it, and I have a lot of work, so it's hard for people. We just released our white paper. I think so. I don't know if it's on a website though, but we released it last week. Um, you know, the the bigger thing about 
we always said about our mission is that this is to democratize uh, wealth management. But our nation, I mean, sorry, our vision is to decentralize nations. As, as we grow and we feel it, uh, you know, if you're born in the 2000s, you're not French or American. You're, you're whatever. You're a digital something. You, you belong to, you know, a, a group of, of thought leaders or thought pieces. And then you see with the TikTok generation all that. And I think so, you know, that's a little bit the, the mission of Swissborg is how to empower more and more people within uh, our, our community. But for that, you need to start to have some governance rules. And, uh, and, and uh, with that, yeah, we, we, we thought that we looked at all the different type of democracies around the world. Well, happens that the only one is actually here in Switzerland. So we said, okay, they probably did smart things. So let's try to take their model and, you know, try to build it with others. Looks like it didn't work that well. We just thought that actually it's the best one because uh, you have you have essentially a federal council, you have a parliament, and then you have the judiciary. The judiciary just makes sure that things doesn't go fuck goes and fuck up. But the parliament, you know, they they propose initiatives and then people could vote for it or the the national council could vote for it. And the last is the is the government itself. And what's great about Switzerland and and what we're we're replicating with it is how this model could always change and that every citizen has only one vote. And, and I think so that's exactly what we want to do is uh, create a parliament that looks most likely about what's our community and, and then start to get more and more into different referendums where people could vote. And, uh, and the great thing is that uh, it's done through the blockchain. So, um, you know, we already had two big votes in 2018. Then we're a bit lazy on that side because we're developing other things. And now the 2021 is really about, again, engaging more people into our thought leads and um, making sure that uh, we're building together uh, this, this vision. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Folks, Cyrus Faisal, CEO, co-founder of Swissborg. Um, his information is going to be below. And uh, listen, um, he's in social media. He's just like all the other great ones that we speak about. Um, he's a leader who interacts, who his team uh, sees criticism, sees uh, compliments, and they respond to him. So definitely follow him on social media as well. Again, all his info is going to be down below. Cyrus, I, I know you're a busy man. You, 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 I don't know how you're staying up on a Sunday, uh, you know, doing all this, but um, we appreciate your time so very, very much, man. Thank you so much, Alex. Really cool. Ryan as well. And CJ, thank you. Thank you. It's been great. And yeah, again, looking forward to the next one and, uh, and be wealthy and healthy. 100%. Thank you, Cyrus. Take care, guys. Bye.